Our heartfelt condolences and prayers are with the victims of this horrific terrorist attack that has unfolded in Christchurch, New Zealand. It's no doubt a dark and painful day for Muslims and humanity at large. Although we are still mourning over this tragedy, it's also important to note a few things. First and foremost, we as a community need to call this out for what it is. This is a terrorist attack on innocent, defenseless Muslims in their own mosques, which serve as the heart of their community. Politicians, media outlets, commentators, all need to call this out for what it is. This is white supremacy. This is right-wing extremist hate. This is racism. And above all, this is terrorism. To make matters worse, it's sickening to see that even in the time of mourning, many senseless individuals have taken to their keyboards to further foster hatred against the Muslim community. Senator Fraser Anning even went further to claim Muslim immigration was responsible for today's terrorist attack. It's about time we take a stance against such extremism and drive it out of our communities. Perhaps the same resolve and dedication our Prime Minister showed to stopping radical Islam should be applied to stopping extreme radical white supremacy, which is alive and well in our country. We also remind Muslims around the world to remain vigilant and alert at all times. Islamophobia is real and hate-filled white supremacists such as the ones we saw today do exist. It's perhaps time mosques start investing in security and protection to ensure they are well guarded and protected from such acts. Lastly, we would like to remind all Muslims who are struggling to comprehend the madness of today's terrorist attack to stay strong. As hard as it is to bear the calamity of what took place, always remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us. As difficult as this situation is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always with us. Remember that these people died on a Friday, in a masjid, in the most beloved place to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all the victims today as martyrs, spare them from the trials of the grave, and grant them a swift entrance into paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us peace in this world and restore sanity to our communities.